Hey, Gail. All right. I'm going to play the intro and while I cut this acetate and we'll be on our way. <laughs> Removing this from the mat. And let's see. Yay, you did find the new one. And this is just going to be the assembly for this card. And let's see. I need to cut this on acetate. I'm going to let you guys see what I'm doing in case you haven't done this before. So I am cutting these pieces from acetate. If you don't have that saved, you can just search it. And that's the one I want. And I'm going to favorite that. Hello again. I don't know who that is on Facebook. It just has a Facebook symbol. It doesn't tell me who you are. Hey Francine, welcome back, welcome back. And let's cut that. I am this blade maybe I'm gonna I'm just gonna do more anyway. Just because it's acetate. Let me share this. Hey Shirley, hey Janet, hey Leslie, you guys made it. I am now cutting the acetate. I didn't put a uh, splash screen on the video yet. I will add that later at a, another date. But we're cutting those pieces. Yay! I need to... I love that little thumbs up. All right. So my acetate has finished. Let me go to the overhead. And this is what I was trying to show you guys before we got started. And I didn't do the um, secondary piece for this one. But this card opens up just like this. But you have windows and you can put sequins and things like that in there if you're using the clear acetate. But I am using the... Um, I am using the foil acetate that has a pattern on it. And I'll show you my little trick. Okay. So we're going to pretend that we have all of our little flowers and all of those things cut. Even though I don't in the happy birthday. I just want to make sure that you guys know how to put this together. Well, that one's peeled for me. I don't have to do that one now. Make sure if you're using the acetates that you're pulling off your liner because you want a nice, bright, clear windows. Nightbot gave you a... Why is Nightbot... Nightbot should not even be on. I'm not seeing Nightbot. I will check on that, Gail. Thank you for letting me know. Nightbot's not supposed to be here. Um... So, I almost forgot to put my pen in, so I may have missed a little bit of writing right there, but that's okay. I did. I missed the, on your birthday. Because <laughs> I forgot to switch it and was leaving it on 
I was leaving it on a score. Nobody will ever know, right, that I wrote that in there. <laughs> oh, he was on the he was on the previous video? I didn't even turn Nightbot on. That's weird. Maybe maybe that's the issue. Maybe Streamlabs has that going on. Okay, so here you have your card, and remember it cut like this on the map. We put our pretty outside and we put our inside face up. Okay? And now you have your acetate. And I'm going to use, you can use whatever you want. You can use glue. I'm going to use tearing tape. And this is the little pink dots. I really, really, really do not know which pack that came out of. I can't think of the name of it. But it is Cricut Acetate. And you don't even have to go around all four sides, really. I don't know why I just did that, but I did. Um, I'm just going to... Uh, you have to go around all four sides. Let me rephrase that. If you're going to put sequins and stuff like that on the inside, but if you're using the foil acetate like I'm using and using the pattern as your... to make it look like a shaker, you don't... just two sides is fine. All the way around if you're going to be putting elements. So this one goes face up right here, okay? And you have to be careful when you're doing this one. I'm going to flip it over, and that one's going to go there. You still want to go to the outer edge of your acetate and not around the window because it will show. You don't want to go around the window here. It will show. So I'm just going to peel this off, but I'm not going to stick it yet, and I'll show you guys why. So first thing you want to do is mount and fold down the long line. Give that a press and see why how I did that decorative edge. I want that to... To pop. I think that's supposed to be mountain fold. And then valley fold right here. Okay. Actually, I said that backwards, guys. This is the valley fold, and the other one is the mountain. Oops. I told you guys backwards on the other. So valley, mountain. This one's valley, this one's mountain. I had it backwards. So before I stick that window down, I am going to glue this panel. So I've got my acetate on, and I'm just going to go and place my glue on this panel. And I'm just going to fold it over. And I've created that frame. Okay? Super easy. Good to know. Uh, I'll I will check into that and let them do the picking for me. That 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 would be a big help. So once you've got that frame like that, then you want to put your other acetate that I just set my glue on on the back here. Or if you're doing like I am, I don't want double dots. If that makes sense, I don't want them set offset like that. I want to line those up so that the dots appear to be as one. And you can even skip the second piece if you're not putting shakers in there. You don't really need it. So I put it on the back side of the medium window, or you can put it here if you want to line it up. But I just wanted a single dot. I didn't want some double dots, so that's why I did that. Then you're going to put glue on this panel. Super easy. 
you're going to fold it over and create that third frame right there. So you've got your front, you got your center pink frame, and then you got that third frame there, and you're done. There's your card. How easy was that? Yes, this is Anna Griffin. This is from that Anna Griffin pack, that bulk pack. So, I mean, it is that super easy. And again, you can put your little flowers that cut. And the reason I call it one sheet is because all of those flowers, all of your banners, your happy birthday, all of that is going to come out of this part of the cardstock. So you're not wasting anything. And you can even use this right here on another card. You could use that. That can be used on a card. And that can be stamped with something. But all of those flowers, everything's going to cut out of here. And then you're just going to flip them. Like this one was pink on one side in the floral pattern. And I put the pink and then the floral and put the little dots on there. And then I flipped them over here. So you can mix and match everything that you cut because you're doing double-sided paper. But it, they come out very, very, very pretty. I didn't cut any of the flowers, but I can add a few of these. Let's add a few. And you can see that it says congrats on your birthday through the window or cheers to you on your birthday. So that's why I say if you line that up, you can get that through the window. I don't have any of the little ones of these, do I? Did I mess up? Yeah, I do. I thought I did. And these are, I don't know if these are still any good, but these are close to my heart. Yes, that, that is close to my heart butterflies, Glenda. Glenda and uh, Judy Barron's LaRue both are close to my heart, if, if you guys need anything. I got that a little high. I want to put it on the birthday. Uh, we'll let it drop down just a little bit. How stinking cute is that? You can do it. I promise you can do it. It's so easy. I don't even think I'm going to put anything on the front. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I, are these still available, Glenda? Are the butterfly sequins? I don't know if these enamel dots are even. I was just using what I had in my stash. Cute. But super easy. And guys, don't throw these away. Again, you can stamp on these or you can have it right on these like I was telling you before. And then you can layer that up. Have it right on the medium and then use the large and then you can pop that into the window. If that makes sense. Okay. So you can take, this is the large window cut out. This is the medium, and you can have it right on your medium sentiment, and then you can place that to the inside and have it look just like that. Lots of fun. I told you guys it was super simple. Super, super simple. All right.
Yes, Christiana can do that. You can. I promise you can do this. It's so easy. This file, this card is on my profile. If you guys are following my Design Space profile, it's on there and it's ready to cut. And again, the reason we did our lesson tonight was to show you guys um, that you can use different size windows, uh, different shape windows. You can create this same card. You just have to use that panel and flip it for that small one. But you can do this. I'm interested to see if anybody does like a star or a heart, an oval. Lots of fun. Yeah, they were, but you you still have, they still have enamel. If they don't have these colors, they have enamel dots. They have something. They have embellishments. I promise you they do. You can, you can find something to use. Um, is that paper available? Um, let's see. I don't know if it's, I don't know if it is, but we will look. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. Let's see. Yes, it's on clearance. Nine dollars, guys. You get a ton of the paper too. Uh, I no, that's the iron on. I don't want the iron on. I want the paper. Iron on, iron. Where's my paper? Uh, right here. Still has it. It's called. No, that's the patterned. That's it. Is that it? Or is it, no, it's the next one. There it is. Out of stock. Doggone it. It's out of stock, guys. Sorry. I just grabbed a sheet of double-sided paper. I didn't even pay attention to what I had. But any of your double-sided papers, any of the Cricut papers will work. Um, let's see. Oh, wow, $3 for Rapunzel's and Victory. Guys, you better be grabbing some of these card stocks. Mickey Christmas is on clearance. I don't know if... But I have had it pop up where it's so, yeah, it's not going to do it. It's definitely gone out of stock. It'll be a winner. Stay positive. It's going to be a winner, Christiana. It's going to be a winner. You have Rapunzel. Guys, these, these make cute cards. What I would do, um, Gail, is create my own and not do a border or maybe do a um, maybe do a circular type scallop on the bottom instead of this fancy one. This fancy one goes more with the florals. Let me get back over here. Remember how I showed you to slice so that you got that bar down at the bottom of the other color? Just do yours square or either cut a scallop out of there so you have the scalloped edge. You ha I have the Hello Kitty too. Yes, and yes, she can do it. So the Hello Kitty would make a cute birthday card like this. I would again I would do a different shape down here. I would create my own just square base. And you can do that 
make your own like I showed you, or you can duplicate this base and then weld a piece in there. Just make sure you align left, align bottom, and weld it in so that you don't have anything hanging over. And you can square that up. Should we do one more spin the wheel? You guys think? Who is on the Facebook viewer there. Who is our Facebook viewer? Okay, I got Christine. Christine won. We got Christ Gail, Francine, Christine, Linda, and Janet won already. How about Christiana? Let's do Christiana. We're going to we're going to give you some encouragement to make this card. Are you ready, Christiana? Had to get all of my notes done. Oh, that's right. I did yours. Christine. Uh, see, I'm getting you two mixed up. Christine. Christine, Christiana. I'm just going to call both of you Christy. <laughs> Leslie won. Didn't did Le Leslie? Did you win last week? I have to look at my notes. Leslie, did you win last week? Okay, all right, so we're getting last two, Christine Kohler and Leslie Audi. Those are going to be our last two for the night. Christine Kohler, let me, let me get my, or Chrissy. Chrissy Kohler and Leslie. All right, let's spin the wheel. This is going to wrap it up for the night, guys. You haven't. Well, you're about to. You're about to get to spin that wheel. Let me go in and make sure I take out that $50 because I've already given that away. And I can't give away another one because I don't have it. So, And I don't have any more of the tools, so I have to take that out. So the wheel's going to change. You're going to see it change here. To what I have left. Woo! We got iron on grab bag, a vinyl grab bag, a miscellaneous grab bag, and a hundred dollar cricket coupon. So let's spin for Chrissy Kohler first. And are you ready? Here we go.
You have the vinyl grab bag. All right, now we have Leslie. Are you ready, Leslie? Congratulations, Chrissy. And now we're going for Leslie, and that's going to wrap up our evening. And you have a miscellaneous grab bag. You guys make sure that you send me your addresses on April at craftingwithapril.co and I will get those out to you. Woohoo! Hey Linda, welcome back. The replay will be available. The replay will be available. You're very welcome. All right, guys. Thank you for joining me tonight. Again, I apologize for the technical difficulties. I will. I haven't changed anything, so I will get with YouTube and Facebook and Streamlabs and make sure that everything is set up like it's supposed to be. I know that there were some updates to Facebook and there were some updates to Streamlabs, so I'm thinking that's where the glitch is. It's super easy, uh, Linda. Uh, they can tell you it looks complicated. It's not complicated. Um, we we put this together in, in just minutes. It, it doesn't take any time at all to cut, and it doesn't take any time at all to put together. It's just super, super easy. Okay? Super easy. Thanks for joining me, everybody. I greatly appreciate you. And thanks for sticking with me through the difficulties tonight. Thank you to all my supporters, too. Couldn't do any of this without you guys. Happy crafting. Have a good night. Happy Labor Day. Be safe. Oh, you're very welcome. Very, very welcome. Uh -huh.